I'll show you how to turn on my domain and enhance domain. So this is a uh, trailhead dog. So you go to setup, upper right hand corner, and left hand corner you see in quick find box. Let me get rid of this. There are pop-ups guidance center. Don't worry about that. Let's we are in the quick find work. Let's see. Alright, we are here. First step is turn on turn on the my domain. So this is out of the box my domain. You need to um, uh, customize to yours. I enter my domain as okay. So when I enter Pakaya, so uh, Salesforce append hyphen dev hyphen ed, that's fine with me. Um, domain suffix is uh, my.salesforce.com. Um, this is a enhanced domain checkbox. You have to turn on uh, enhanced domain. It is by default is checked in because they are going moving to enhanced domain. Enhanced domain. That means the latest browser requirement and remains stabilized when your org move to another Salesforce instance. You know what? En enhanced domain does it. Um, it has um, security features. It has a um, way to access uh, third-party cookies. They have increased the security. So most browsers will disable third-party cookies. So they um, in and domain have, uh, will address a workaround for that, right? <clears throat> so that uh, in layman's terms, they mention here in the help text domain names that meets the latest browser requirement and remain stabilized when your org is moved to another cell for the instance. Yeah. Um, that's what happened at high level, but I Earlier, I told you what's happening at lower level. So domain partitioning on, don't worry, don't worry about that. It's just a partitioning domain. It is, um, uh, that's what it does. Um, this is the, um, this is my uh, URL and save it. You get, um, uh, this step submit your domain for provisioning. After provisioning complete, you must deploy your new domain for changes to take effect. We recommend testing your new domain in a sandbox before deploying it. Watch for email telling you you can test and deploy the new domain. Don't worry about that, Mr. Yu. What he says is just wait for the email and so forth. Yeah. You can see here, first step is happening in real time. Choose and register. There are two steps. Let me refresh the second step this time. Okay. Second step is done. You can see the green check marks here. Salesforce provision your new domain. Um, so once the third is ready, I can new uh, I can deploy my new domain to users let's refresh again okay now um, so we are back here the third step is here deploy your new domain right it is my action item I have to click either cancel or deploy. So I click the deploy new domain. Then I have to log in. So, so I'm not, do, uh, I'm not logging here. Um, here in this step, you can do it. So once you log in, so the new domain is enabled. You can see, you, you see here, uh, Pakaya 
hyphen dot so this uh, this is the uh, domain i selected here um yeah 